Hi cuties! So today I'll bring you another compilation of the best DIYs we made in this channel. I hope you like this kind of videos. They are, you know, a little bit longer. There's more projects so you can get creative <laughs> or you can get inspired <laughs> to make some cute stuff. And let's sprinkle some cuteness in the world. It's what you do making me feel like I'm I had this box for the water filters and I thought it would be perfect for this project. I also had this candle box that I'm using as the drawer. Trace and cut. Time to cut my drawer, glue the sides and put the top into the box to give a more finished look. I'm gluing the sides of the box and the bottom cause it's a little bit loose. I'm using a piece of cardboard as a divider and I'm gluing it into the box. I'm gluing another piece of cardboard so the drawer fits better into the box. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every week. If you are not new, you are the best! Time to take the measurements! and cut the left part of the top of the box which I'm gonna use as a pen holder I'm gluing another piece of cardboard as a divider. I finally see I can be so much better. Dreams about you and me, wearing hearts at my sleeves. I can do so much better. So, so, so much better. So, so, so much better. Time to cover my desk organizer with this super duper cute contact paper. 
I did two layers. To make it even cuter, I'm adding some rhinestones on three sides of the organizer. Okay guys, it's time for the cool part, the phone holder. Cut a piece of cardboard, shape it as a triangle and then apply your contact paper. Time to glue the phone holder. I'm adding more rhinestones to mesh the bottom part. And I'm gonna glue the phone holder to the base. Last but not least, I needed a knob. So I decided to cut a piece of glue stick. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, but I think it was a great idea. And I also added a rhinestone to it. And I attached the glue stick to the drawer. And there you have it. A super duper cuter desk organizer with phone holder. I'm gluing my wig to the bottom of my candle jar. I already melted the pink part of my candle, let it dry, and when it's completely dry, just put the white wax. And I'm using a rose scented fragrance oil. When the candle is completely set, get your heat gun, melt the top, and put your embed. I already had this super duper cute Paris embed. So these are the one I'm using, the two refill or refill tower and my lips. Now I just need a super duper cute label. I made this label with Canva. 
I printed it and now I'm applying it to the front of my candle. And there you have it, a super duper cuter Paris candle. Okay, my friends, so this amazing upcycle, as you can see, is made with an empty plastic bottle. And what I'm doing now, I'm cutting around, how would be like two thirds from the bottom to create my wonderful purse. And I'm tracing with my Sharpie all around the bottle, and then I'm gonna cut it. Once you got the base for your purse, just get a lighter to smooth out the edges. Now I'm making the base of my purse. So I cut a piece of cardboard, the same shape as the bottle. And I'm cutting a piece of black ribbon to use as the handle of my purse. First, I'm attaching the ribbon to my plastic bottle. If you enjoy the vibe, like and subscribe. Next, I'm attaching with my hot glue gun the ribbon to the side. And the last part that we have to attach is the cardboard. Glue it into place and then cut the excess.
Now it's time for the fun part. I got this super duper cute fabric, which has, I don't know if you can see, it's black and has all this um, constellation design, but it's so cute. Super duper cute, really. And what I'm doing, I'm just gonna glue the fabric to make my adorable purse. Glue all the sides and then I'm cutting the bottom because it was a little bit too long and I'm gonna glue the bottom as well. To give it a more finished look, I'm cutting a piece of fabric that I'm gonna attach to the very bottom. Cut the excess fabric. And there you have it, a super duper cute purse. So guys, this project is so easy, but so fun to make. I had so much fun. So as you can see, I got this uh, is a candle vessel that I can use as a candle or as a tea light holder. And I'm just painting my glue, which is not the Mod Podge, it's the fake stuff, but it's okay. <laughs> Still works okay. And I'm painting, starting from the bottom, and I'm gonna put the, the glitter to create the ombre effect. From the bottom, I'm starting with the darker orange glitter, then lighter orange, darker yellow, and lighter yellow. You're probably gonna need more than one layer to achieve the effect that you want, and that's okay. The main thing is that you let the first layer dry before doing the next one. And now I'm going to leave you with the tutorial. I hope you like it. Nobody is awake. 
Guys, if you want to know how to make the strongest scented candle ever, watch this video next. If you enjoy the vibe, like and subscribe. Always remember to do a final layer of your sealant on top to seal everything in. And there you have it, a super duper cute ombre tea light holder. I had these two bowls at home and I knew that I wanted to make a super duper cute project for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm doing, you're welcome. <laughs> so I'm gluing with my hot glue gun 
the two balls together to create my vase and if you want you can use a different type of glue that's fine push it together and now because i didn't like to see the the kind of line where the two balls touch i decided to add a super duper cute of course <laughs> a ribbon and i chose this bright pink ribbon and i'm just gluing it uh, exactly in the middle of the vase and i think i do think it gives a more finished and even cuter look <laughs> let me know what you guys think guys the best part of this vase that is so easy to make as you can see and you can be so creative you can use a different type of balls you can really personalize with different things and it will make a super duper cute home decor If you enjoy the vibe, like and subscribe. Once you're done with the ribbon, we're gonna start with the fun part. At my craft store, I found this Polly McClay uh, miniature, and these are sprinkles, which I love, love, love so much. When I saw them, I was like, yeah, I need to buy them, because I know I'm gonna make something super cute. And so what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, using my Mod Podge and just painting it all over my vase, and then I'm sprinkling the sprinkles <laughs> sprinkling the sprinkles <laughs> what's another word putting the sprinkles i don't know you guys help me with my english <laughs> no but anyways i'm putting the sprinkles on the on the vase and i'm doing first the that's very important it's easy to make this project but you need to do it properly and don't worry i'm here to help you <laughs> no so basically you want to do one part first okay as i'm doing so put your mud polish put your sprinkles and then let it dry completely it might take i don't know maybe took one hour i can't remember but not too long in the meantime you can do something else you can you know watch my other youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> you can learn how to make the strongest scented candle ever if you want i have the ultimate guide and i link it up here and uh, yeah so let it dry completely and then when it's completely dry you can go with with the other part and the reason for that is that you don't want to risk you don't want to take the risk to remove the sprinkles from the top part that you already did if the um, because you run the risk if the the, the mud posh is not is not dry completely so yeah make sure because i tried i tried to do it like straight away but then i realized no 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 i gotta wait and just wait make everything everything uh, like dry and then you can do the bottom part
guys this vase will make your room so much happier trust me it's so cute and the best part is that it's really versatile you can put inside you know i'm putting here i show you my polymer clay miniature that i'm using for my project but you can put whatever you want flowers and you could go crazy and do what guess what you could put some wax and create a candle i was thinking about that i didn't do it because i have thousands of candles because you know i'm a candle maker <laughs> but yeah you could do that and look how cute it is i'm in love so guys thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next super duper cuter project ciao guys it's what you're doing, making my